So um, I'm Christopher Mason, an associate professor at Weill Cornell Medical College in New York City. And so we have a project called Pathomap, which was to look at all of the sort of organisms and microbes and potential pathogens uh, in the surfaces that we all touch every day in the New York City subway and across the city. And we wanted to actually use this study to really understand what is a baseline level of uh, understanding in the city of the surfaces that we all touch every day. So the first results we just published actually represent about 1,500 samples across the entire New York City subway and the city. And we saw that half the DNA doesn't match any known organism that is known to humanity. So a lot of discovery is left right under our fingertips. We also saw that there was an echo. We could actually see uh, the human DNA would match what neighborhood you were in based on white, black, Asian, Hispanic. We could see what area of the city you were in. And then also we could see leftovers, sort of like a station that was flooded by a hurricane. We could see the water bacteria left behind. So we found uh, really peculiar organisms all over the city, including some that are potential pathogens and also some uh, like Shoanella bacteria that are things you'd only find in the Antarctic that we then found on the subway, which was in the station that was flooded by Hurricane Sandy. And so we could see that there were remnants or we say molecular echoes of what happened in a station, or we could see pizza-related bacteria or uh, Enterococcus italicus, or we could see even chickpea DNA from someone having a falafel. So really mysterious. Uh, echoes, molecular echoes of what people were doing or eating. Some challenges included small things like when you're swabbing uh, an area, uh, even culturally, what do people think you're doing? And so some people, uh, some of my students got a hug and said, well, thank you for cleaning the subway with a small Q-tip. So uh, understanding what was happening uh, and actually then also logistically getting uh, an app so you could put in the data as you collect the sample, extract the DNA and also sequencing and, and the computational challenge. So Kyogen has been a great partner in this regard to actually everything from the collection of the sample to the extraction to library prep and now sequencing. So actually everything from beginning to the end of the process to actually understand what's present in a sample, uh, the complex mixture of organisms. So uh, I've been using Kyogen since I was a graduate student. So extracting DNA and RNA has been uh, always done with Kyogen. So I'm excited to now sort of parlay that into metagenomic and microbiome research. So uh, the next phase of the study is to expand out. We've gotten a lot of interest from people in other cities who say, you know, I want to know what's in my city, what's happening on the services. So we're now basically normalizing the protocol, uh, improving protocols for extraction and sequencing and prep and making it so that everyone can replicate the study. But we're also even doing it uh, in the space station. So actually looking at what's on the services of uh, organisms in the space station. So uh, NASA is very interested in sort of building the ecosystem of a space station uh, with uh, microbes in mind as well.